What's good, 9197 Wolf Pack? This is your boy Tyler 9197 with your 9197 Black Wolf 9197 or 9197. Back with another video for you guys, and this time I'm about to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts on the new Battlefield that just released today, uh, Battlefield 2042. And also, you get read from the title to Will this game come on Game Pass? Which I will get more in detail of my thoughts on it later on. But for the most part, let's talk about the trailer of Battlefield 2042. Yes, you guys gonna see it up here and see all its glory. But yes, guys, so Battlefield 2042. I never say this Battlefield look like this is gonna be one of the craziest battlefields that DICE ever made. Because I like I play about I want to say every battlefield, but I play most majority of them. Well, besides as far not like story wise, but probably more or so like kind of like multiplayer and stuff like that. I play about most all of them, but this one in particular definitely look like it's over the over the top, especially the few because more futuristic. I mean, well, futuristic, not in the crazy part of futuristic. Like, I mean, because the way I look at this when I look at the trailer of this game, it reminds me of like kind of like a Ghost Recon on uh, Future Soldier. If you guys remember playing that game, that's the type of vibes I'm kind of getting for Battlefield 2042. But besides that, y'all, where's with Battlefield with these names for these games, y'all? Because I swear, like. It, it just like I really thought this was gonna call us Battlefield Six because you guys look at um, ba um, Battlefield's history of some of the games. I know they had one like I was at Bat uh, Battlefield nineteen. So I can't remember nineteen something. That you know there's uh, Battlefield Bad Company, Bad Company Two, which was actually one of my favorite Battlefield games ever created. They still need to make a third one. They need to make a Bad Company Three. Um, then I know like Battlefield Three. You know, Battlefield 4, and then they did Battlefield 1. <laughs> I was like, Battlefield 1? I was confused at that time, but I know it was more like 101. So I'm thinking, so when they did Battlefield 5, I'm thinking, I thought Battlefield 5 was going to be Battlefield 2 because it's for World War 2, but no, it's not. So then I'm thinking, like, all right, they did all these names from went from this to that, went to this to that, went to this to that. Now I'm thinking, like, it's going to be Battlefield 6. <gasps> Wrong again! Battlefield 2042, and that's what it is. I'm just like, okay, like I don't issue with it, but it's like, okay. But enough of that with naming wise. Look at the trailer, y'all. This look amazing. Like this look like, uh, like probably a lot, like I said, one of the best battlefields that Dice ever made. And I'm very excited about it, y'all. Like I'm very excited about this. Like it's, it's definitely something like it feel like a um. How's that? Breath of fresh air, like if anything like that. At least for Battlefield, because it had been three years since Battlefield 5, which I didn't realize it was that long until they actually mentioned it being like three years. So I'm just like, dang, it been that long? Okay. I didn't realize it been that long. So, you know, especially it's got, it's kind of good that Battlefield's coming back too, just for the fact, like, Call didn't need some type of competition. And me personally, like, you guys know, I said this multiple times. I'm not a fan of Call of Duty, at least anymore. Like, I still keep up with it as far because, you know, I'm a gamer. I like to see what's happening, this and that. But for the most part, I'm just not interested in what Call of Duty is really doing as much, really, at all. But I'm interested, like, to see how they improve this and that third. Like, you know, whatever. Just because, as a gamer wise, I like to see what's going on, you know. But for the most part, I haven't really been caring what Call of Duty has been doing. So. I've been waiting for Battlefield, so this one definitely look like this is gonna take the cake. It's gonna look like it's gonna be wild, and I'm very excited to see about this. Um, but uh, but enough of all of that. Uh, now let me go ahead and talk about the things about Game Pass. Will it come to Game Pass? Hmm. Question. Question. But this is my reason why I which reason why I think y'all that it more likely will come to Game Pass because there's two reasons why. One, the gameplay reveal what happened on June 13, which gonna be Xbox and Bethesda's date when they do their E3 showcase, which is one thing. Then two, EA Play, because EA Play is 
or Game Pass. And you look at EA Game, I mean, I mean, not EA Game Pass. <laughs> if you look at Game Pass, you can see that pretty much every Battlefield from EA is on there. For all the way from the 19, so I've got rumored from three, four, five, Battlefield one, the Bad Company, Bad Company two, like who to say Battlefield 2042 is not gonna be on Game Pass either? I mean, at least that's what I think. Cause I mean, they could just be like, nah, we ain't gonna do that. But then again, I feel like EA might do that because, cause look at this, y'all. EA, you know, they're gonna make money off of Battlefield 2042, and regardless, people gonna buy it. Even I will buy it if. Like, you know, depending, of course, if it goes to Game Pass, that's the one thing. But still, they know people are going to buy it, but they know that EA, the type of company the type of company they are, which we all, we all know as gamers, they're a greedy company. We know this. Everybody should know this, especially for the sport title stuff. We know this. But I will say because of that, EA know that they can make a lot more profit if they go put that game on Game Pass, and then of course they're gonna have microtransaction, and a lot of people would go on Game Pass. Who, like, really, who wouldn't want to go on Game Pass to play base, basically the game for free, pretty much? Go in there and spend all that microtransaction to play this game, uh, uh, Battlefield 2042. It's a win-win for the Xbox and game. I mean, and EA because Xbox gonna get more subscriptions and EA gonna make money regardless. Like, I feel like that's a win-win, and I feel like more like it's gonna happen. I mean, but what are you guys thoughts? You think it's gonna happen? It's not gonna happen? Right down below, cause I really, I read the, I like to hear you guys thoughts about it. But for me personally, it's gonna happen. At least I'm not. I ain't gonna be. I can, I can say 100%. It's going to guarantee, but I will say that I'm more likely to believe that it will, just because. I mean, if if it's on EA Play, or more like it's gonna be on EA Play, and all the other Battlefields is on Game Pass, pretty much all of them. Who would say Battlefield 2042 is not gonna be the same thing? And plus, it'd be good for gamers, like especially on Xbox, to play something they want. I'm just saying, like <laughs> you know. Like, but uh, uh, but unfortunately for Sony's side, you know they're gonna have to pay that price. It's just, it is what it is. But hopefully, if it does come to Game Pass, that would be dope. If it doesn't, I mean, I'll go spend it. I just hopefully it don't be a seventy dollar game because most of these games trying to go with seventy dollars. So it's like I ain't really trying to pay that. If I'm being honest, y'all. No, <laughs> not really, not really. But overall, um, that's pretty much it. If I had to rate the trailer out of one out of ten. I would probably say I would give this one at least probably like an 8 out of 10. It's very solid. It will go up, but at the same time, this is a CGI trailer. So I'm like, I'm excited about it, but I'm not like crazy about it until I see actual gameplay, which I won't see until Sunday. So very excited about it, but of course, like I said, not over like crazy expectations, nothing like that until I actually see the gameplay and all that. But uh, overall, that's pretty much it. Alright Black Wolves, this is the end of the video, so please go ahead, hit the like, the bell, subscribe, and I say this all in my other videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so, so you can join the 9197 Wolfpack. This is a fun, kickback gaming channel, which has the greatest community in the world, which is you guys, the Black Wolves. So go ahead and spread the word to your friends and family who likes gaming, so they can go ahead and join the Wolfpack, because everybody's welcome to the pack. And all I gotta say, y'all, just stay tuned for more content coming your way. Um, more likely you should. I was like, yeah, like I said, more likely, not one hundred percent. You will see a, a stream happening later on tonight, which I do plan on. Uh, so yeah, so prepare for a stream. I might actually do a part two for Halo, or I might do Monster Hunter Rise Part Four, y'all. Yes, I said it, Part Four of Monster Hunter Rise, because I have not played that game in a minute, and I feel like. As far like for content wise, when I was doing it, I feel like it's better that I rather stream that game more so than record it. How I was making content out of it, make content as far as streaming wise. That's what I'm thinking about doing. But we will see. We will see. We will see. Cause I know what you said. Take it with a grain of salt. But more like it, I would say I am seeing it about streaming it later on tonight. So definitely go ahead. Uh, go ahead and uh, go to my Twitch. Hit the uh, hit the bell. 
follow, hit that bell and stuff so you get notification when I do go live and all that. But all right, guys, I love y'all. Peace. God bless y'all. TGDS 9197.